for this hour at this place to speak to a people that will hear. And I'm speaking of none other than Pastor Dennis J. Rogers, Sr. He is the pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. Those of you that are in live stream, you have time to make it if you want to come and hear the word in person at 22nd and Franklin Street. Before he come, amen, the choir, or the, the praise team is coming back again, amen, with a song of praise, after which I will ask you to stand on your feet and join me, amen, to receive this man of God as he come in his own way. Amen. Pastor Dennis J. Rogers, Sr. Let's receive the praise singer. Oh, praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Help us to be free. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Come on and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am free. Just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Oh, I'm free. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. I'm no longer bound. No more chains holding. Come on, clap your hands and give God some praise. 
Come on, if you really love God, put those blessed hands together and give God some praise on today. Amen. He may be seated in his presence today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Certainly we honor God for who is certainly the head of our life today. Amen. We honor, amen, amen, our assisting pastor today. Come on, thank God for him today. We give honor, amen, to the leadership of this church today. Amen. To our deacon brothers, our mothers, our missionaries. Amen. Thank God, amen, amen, for the ministerial staff, amen, that we have here today. Amen. Thank God, amen, for my mother. Amen. Mother Rogers. Amen. Thank God for her. I praise God for her, even if you don't. Amen. Amen. I believe she's praying for me. Amen. Today. Thank God, amen, for the first lady. Amen. Thank God for the first lady of the church today. Amen. Thank God. We're praying for her. Amen. She's been busy. She's been preparing. Amen. But I believe, amen, God is going to use her. Amen. In the coming days. Amen. What about our praise team choir today? Come on. Come on. Thank God for them. Amen. Ushering in the presence of the Lord on today. God bless each and every one of you that are here today. Amen. We realize, yes, it is a holiday weekend, amen, and many are out, amen. It's very obvious, amen, that many are out, amen. But look at somebody and tell them we're here. Yeah. Amen. And since we're here, amen, we're going to give God some praise today. Since we made it, amen, since we put on our clothes, amen, I am going to give God my best praise. I come with great expectations, amen, on today. I just believe that God is going to feed me manna from heaven. I need a word today. I need a word. I need a word today. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Amen. If you would turn with me, amen, to the book of Deuteronomy, amen. Thank God, amen, for all of our virtue views, amen. Those that are online with us, amen, that are out of town, thank God, amen, for them as well on this morning. Listen, God has already promised you, amen, and I hope, and a future. His plans, amen, is for us, amen, is what? Good. Amen. Tell somebody God's got a future for us. And now it's up to us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's up to us today, amen, to find out, amen, what our purpose, amen, is. Thank you, Deacon Jackson, for reminding us about that this past Thursday night. We have purpose. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Deuteronomy, amen, chapter 1, chapter 1. Amen. And we're going to go down to verse number six. And that's where we will begin reading. And it reads, The Lord our God spake unto us in her, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey and go to the mountain of the Moramorites. And unto all, all the places, amen, nigh unto. In the plain, in the hills, in the vale, and in the south, and by the seaside to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Verse number eight. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them their seed after them. 
Amen. And God's word is blessed. Hallelujah. I need your prayers, amen, for the next few minutes. Amen. If you would pray for pastor, amen. But I must give unto you what God has given unto us to give. If there ever was a time, amen, we need direction, tell somebody now is the time. We need some directions for our life. I was listening there in Sunday school, amen, as our, amen, superintendent, amen, Alan was talking, amen, and encouraging us, amen. We cannot look for government for our instructions. Huh? Amen. As you can see, amen, our world is in trouble. Our nation is in trouble. If you're looking, amen, for the government to lead you, amen, I want to tell you, you got another thing coming. For I know the Bible is right. And somebody is wrong. My instructions come from the word of God. I want to use for a subject, amen, amen, this morning, if I could have your attention, amen, in the form of a question, amen, look at somebody and ask them, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here in the midst of all of the things that are going on, in the midst of the decisions Amen, that are being made, that I need to make, amen. Where do we go from here, Greater New Bible Way? When we look at this title, amen, in the form of a question, where do we go from here? It is a simple question, amen. It is innocent, amen. Yet it causes us to approach with simplicity. Well, where are we now? I'm learning, amen, that many people, amen, like, amen, don't like to admit where they are now, especially if where they are is no good. Are y'all going to pray for me for a few minutes? But before you can go to a better place, you must be willing to admit the place that you are in now. Where are you now? If you're lost, stop wasting time. If you're lost, stop burning gas. Stop driving around and ask somebody for some help. Ask somebody, will you help me out now? There used to be a time, amen, when the younger women of our church would go to the mothers. Am I in the house on today? Mother, I got a situation I got a problem with. And I just believe, amen, if you talk with me, mother, you'll help me out of the situation. And I can't, I got the can't help it. I can't say no when I need you. There was a time when the young men would find the elders, amen, the elder brothers of the church would tell them I got a problem every time I get paid on Friday. I find myself driving to the store and by Monday I'm broke. Tell somebody we need help. If you don't turn around and stop, ask somebody for direction so you can get back on the right path. Tell somebody I need help this way. But don't get so desperate that you ask the first person that you see. I want to tell somebody. I want to help somebody today. Because they may knock you over the head. Amen. They, they may take you for all you got. Amen. And then that last state of the man is worse off than the first state. Make sure that the advice that you are receiving is some holy advice. Make sure that the advice that you're receiving is some sound doctrine advice 
from the man or from the woman of God that it knows God and that walks and has a relationship with the Lord. I want to help you today. I may not squall, it may not tune up, or any of that, amen, but I want to give you some instructions that will help you in the coming days. Because what I understand, when we understand, desperation sometimes, amen, can be good, but desperation, amen, on the other time, amen, can cause you to misthink or misjudge your surroundings. Help me today, Holy Ghost. For the Greek interpreters call, amen, the book of Deuteronomy, amen, the second law. It is commonly identified, amen, as Moses' farewell address to Israel prior to his demise. Y'all pray for me now. He underscores, amen, and he repeats many of the laws of God, amen, that the people received at Mount Sinai to challenge Israel, to challenge, by the way, to challenge, amen, the United States of America to remain faithful to God for continued prosperity. Mm. That's one of the things, amen, that I have learned, amen, that if you want, amen, God to continue to bless you, you got to continue to be faithful to him. I got to be faithful, amen, and to my service, unto my service to the church. I got to be faithful, I got to remain faithful to God, amen, in my giving. I got to remain faithful to God in my witnessing to another brother or sister. I must remain faithful to God in all the areas that he's calling me. So many times, amen, amen, this is where we miss the boat because God blesses us, then we become lax. I got what I need now. I got my home, amen, I, I got the automobile that I've been praying for, I got the job, amen, I got a family, amen, that I asked God for, so now it's time for me to go somewhere and sit back and relax, tell somebody I beg to differ with you, come on, tell somebody we need to stay on fire for the Lord, come on, tell somebody we got to stay on fire for the Lord. You see, if we want the continued blessings, if we want to continue to live in the overflow, amen, if you want to live in the abundant favor of God, then you cannot play with God. Only serve him through the good days. You got to serve him through the time, the good times, and then through the lean times or then through the times of testing. Mm. You got to let God know, amen, that my faithfulness to you is not based on where I am. But my faithfulness to you is based on who you are to me, God. Somebody ought to give God a thank you praise. It's not based on my financial status or my financial condition. No, it's not based on my mental state. Amen. I got my mind now. Amen. But I'm all right. It's not based on my physical condition. But it's based on where I am. And you somehow ought to tell the Lord, thank you. <sighs> I need him every day. I need him every hour of the day. I need him every second every minute. I got to have Jesus because I can't make it. Mm. I believe I got some witnesses in the house. Today. But as for me and my house, I want everything that God has for me. And I mean I want everything. I want, amen, my health to be better. Tell somebody I want everything. I want longevity in life. Yes, I know, amen, he's promised me, amen, but I want to be, amen, that one 
that receive everything. Amen. I want to be able to understand. I want my right mind. I want to be able to understand and comprehend. I want everything. I want to be able to think right and think positively. You can have all the negative. That's why I got to be and then careful of who I surround myself with. That negative stuff of getting your spirit and you find yourself complaining about this. You're complaining about that. Did you see what the pastor had on? He know he needs another suit. Amen. Did you see how the first lady was dressed? Her shoes is all right. Amen. Get Be careful who you allow to speak into your ear. All the Lord of it is is nothing but fit for a garbage can. My father used to say, don't allow people to speak garbage into you. You got to find yourself moving away. God bless you, darling, but I got to, I got to go. I got to go. I got to move on. There are some things that the business I got to take care of. You got to know how to get out of a situation when your back is against the wall. I need some positive. I need somebody pouring into me. Amen. I got to deal with enough on my own without somebody pouring their garbage into me. It takes all the strength I got down on the inside of me to keep Brother Dennis straight. I don't need nobody else's garbage. Can't afford to be around people who are doubters, who are haters, people that don't want to see me go anywhere. I just want to tell you, you got some of those people in every circle of life. No matter what level you at, amen, you still got some doubt. You go to another level, you still got some haters. Never seen this spirit, amen, existing so strongly now, amen, in and out of the church. Every level, you got some hurt haters. Tell somebody, but I'm going to stand strong. I'm going to stand firm. I'm going to be all that I can be. I know the, uh, the army got it, amen, but I'm going to be all I can be. In the army of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Equip me. People that don't want to see me advance. People that want, amen, amen, they want to see me fall. They want to see me fail. Amen, you know, amen, you see where I am now, but you don't know where I've come from. Mm -hmm. God never wants us to stay where we are. He always wants us, amen, to go higher, amen, to higher height and to deeper depth. He always wants to take you to a higher ground. I thank God for my mother, amen. She sings a song, Lord, I'm pressing on. The upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day. But while I'm somebody ought to say, Lord, pack my feet. in the year of Israel. He 
gives them a friendly reminder, amen, and tells them everything that God has done for them. When you are in each, when you are in bondage, when you are being beaten by the enemy, God says that I will steal that. That I will steal God and I'm still right by your side. When you are in captivity, God was still there. Mm -hmm. I watched everything that the devil did to you. God told me to tell you this morning, I was still there. I watched everything that they said about you. God wanted me to remind you that I was still there. I watched every plot and plan, amen, that they did to demoralize your name and who you are and your character. He told me to remind somebody today that I was still there. They tried to beat you down and make you lose your manhood. You ought to tell somebody, God said, I will steal that. Good God Almighty. God said, I saw everything that they did. But you are not going to be in bondage always. God is saying, I am going to deliver you. And I'm going to deliver you, amen. You're coming out, amen, more, amen, coming out with more than you took in. Good God Almighty. So he reminded them that when, 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 when they were in Egypt, look where you are now. Come on, hug somebody say, look where you are now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. In camp, amen, and in plain, amen. You all look at your neighbor and say, look where you are now. Oh, that's a word all by itself right there. Look where you are now. Somebody that God has blessed real good. You ought to take a look around and look where you are right now. That I will call you to throw your hands up and tell the Lord, thank you. Look where you are now. Somebody that God has made a way for. Amen. When there was no way, you ought to say, look where I am right now. Somebody that God has opened doors that the enemy tried to close, amen, in your face. You ought to stick and look around and say, look where I am right now. Somebody that God has healed from sickness and disease, amen, when the devil tried to tell you that it was all over, take a look at where you are right now. Somebody that knows the power of God, amen, I ought to look at somebody and say, look what the Lord has done for me. He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look what the Lord has done for me. You ought to take a time and pause right there and put your hand together and give God some praise. You got to say something. You, you, you got to say, amen, the devil, amen. Tell the devil, amen, it's not over. Amen, until God says it's over. Because he will try to put, amen, his foot on your neck. Amen, yes, he'll try to tell you that it's all over. But I thank God, I'm reminded of a song that we used to sing here at the Greater New Bible at church. There can't no power Hold me down. I rise again. I rise, I rise, I rise. And I'm rising right now. He would try to put sickness and disease in your body and say it's all over. But the devil is alive. Through many dangers, toys and snares, I've already come. But it was his grace. Hunt your name and say, by the grace of God. I'm still standing. I got my mind made up. And I'm on my way up. And I won't turn back. Because I want to see my Jesus when he come back for me. I want to see his shining face. I want to see the one that hung, bled, and died on Calvary's cross for you and for me. I want to see those nail-starred hands 
that he placed on my body that when I was sick, he laid his hand on me. I want to see. Mm. Tell somebody if you know the new what I've been through. Amen. You'll be praising God with me. If you only knew where I come from, you'll be testifying with me. If you only knew what the Lord brought me out, how he took my hand and led me out of a place where I thought there was no return. If you only knew where I do we go from here, Greater New Bible Way. Brother Timothy Wright said, my mind is made up. I'm going to hold my head up because I'm going on with the Lord. Trouble may be in my way and I may have to cry sometimes, but that's all right because somebody told me that Jesus will. He will fix it every time. I may have to cry, but that's all right. I got a pain in my body, but that's all right. Because I know every round goes higher and higher. Every round with the Lord holding my hand, I know he won't let me fall because he is. He is my keeper today. He is my all in all today. And I know the fact I'm still here. And it's by the grace of God. Y'all didn't hear me this morning. I said, I'm still here by the grace of God. Songwriter said, when I look back over my life and I see all the things that God has done for me. I've been through dangers, heartaches, trouble. But I thank the Lord because what? He rescued me. I could have been dead and gone, but the Lord spared my life. Now I can say that I'm still here, and it's by the grace of God. That's my message to you today. That's my message to you. You're still here. And it's by the grace of God. Man can't do it. Man didn't do it. Every promotion that you have received, don't you know, amen, that the heart of the king is, is in God's hand. And he had to turn that man's heart in order to promote you. And sometimes after he promoted you, he scratched his head. Why did I do that? I don't know what made me promote her. I don't know what made me promote him. You know what it is? You know who he is. It was God. It was God. We're standing all over this building. I'm still here. And it's by the grace of God. I've done some things in my life, amen, that could have placed me, amen, in a horrible place. I've done some things, I've gone some places, amen, I've been associated with some people where I could have been guilty by what? Association. That's why I'm encouraging you. It's okay to be by yourself. The devil would try to make us feel that, amen, we need some friends and we got to have this one here walking by me. Amen, I'm lonely. Amen. I'm too lonely to be alone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen, but I come to tell you it's all right to be by yourself. God can talk to you when you're by yourself. Every now and then, First Lady and I, we got to get along. We got to get apart from one another. She wants to hear from God, and I want to hear from God. 
It's okay. It's okay. I want to hear what he's saying. I've got to hear directions. Amen. For the ministry, I got to hear directions for myself. I need the Lord to talk to me everywhere I go. I need him to order my steps. I need a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. I need a word from the Lord. What about you on this morning? What about you on this morning? Do you need something from God that only he can give you? I don't care how much mom loves you, how much dad loves you. Can't nobody lead you like the Lord can. They knew, the Lord knows you from the beginning, amen, until this very present. He knows you more than your mother and your father. He's the creator. Hallelujah. He made you who you are today. Somebody ought to tell him thank you today. Hallelujah. Lift those hands where you are right now. If you're not saved, today is a good day to say I want to come and give my life to Jesus. If you are a backslider, you ought to say I'm coming home, Lord. I'm tired of my ways. I'm tired of being up today and down tomorrow. I'm tired of looking like I'm on my way somewhere, but then the next minute I don't know which way to turn. I'm tired of my ways, God. God is saying again, I'm still here, right where you left me. Hallelujah. With those hands lifted, Father, as we lift our hands, as a sign of surrenderance, God, Lord, here I am. First of all, forgive me, God. Forgive me of every sin. Forgive me of every fault, every failure that I've committed in my life. Lord, receive me back now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I commit, amen, myself to thee, oh, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. I sinned, God. I fell, God. But here I am once again, Lord. Your humble servant, God. Receive me. Lord, I don't want to be reprobated, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I want to have a heart and a mind, God, that when I do fail and when I do fall, God, oh God, that I can come back to your throne of grace and mercy, God. And you'll take me back in as your own, God. Father, I need power. I need strength now to overcome my weakness. I need you to endow me with the Holy Ghost power now. That power that only comes from you, God. I don't want to keep tripping over the same thing day after day. Oh, God. Oh, God, receive me back today. Let this be the beginning of a brand new day in my life, oh God. Because God, I want everything that you have in store for me. I want to go higher in you. Higher in your word. Higher in your will, oh God. I want to be that one, God. That my brother and sister will see and know that you live inside of me, oh God. Because of the way I walk, because of the way I talk, oh God. Don't have to wear a sign on my back, but I walk in a way, God, that they will know, God, that you are with me, oh God, by the life that I live. Help me today, God. Are you looking for a church where love flows because God is in control? A church where God is really real? Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. 